Preparing for the Oscars, but how much is all this work papering over the cracks of a world-famous institution weakened by the ongoing row over the lack of diversity? Filmmaker Spike Lee, winner of an honorary Oscar, won't be there, taking in a ball game instead. His wife will also be absent. He stopped short of using the word boycott, but his sentiments are shared by many stars, though not everyone thinks staying away is the best form of protest. I don't think the right side is boycotting the Oscars. I think the Oscars is a well respected institution in the entertainment community that does a lot of good work for a lot of people. But it's not just the Oscars which have a diversity problem. Women, minorities and the LGBT community are vastly underrepresented throughout Hollywood, failing to reflect the makeup of the US population. That's according to a report from the University of Southern California. Across the 414 films, TV shows, and digital series that we evaluated, over 20% didn't have one black or African-American speaking character. Over 50% didn't feature one Asian or Asian-American speaking character. Across 11,306 speaking characters across the entire study, only a third were girls and women, and only 229 were LGBT. Inequality spreads beyond color and ethnicity. Last year, Patricia Arquette, who won an Oscar as Best Actress in a Supporting Role, pointed the finger at the gap in wages between men and women, another sensitive topic in Hollywood, where actors are still paid more than actresses. The Academy has been active for the last three, four years about including new and different voices, filmmakers, whether of gender or, or race or national origin. We felt that it was important for the world to know that we, we're on this. The Academy of Motion Picture, Arts and Sciences has promised to double the number of women and representatives from minorities in the organization by the year 2020.